Greetings heroes, we are here with some more Wind Waker HD. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads lately. Look at Link looks grumpy, just like you guys are, I'm sure. I'm sorry that we had some uh, delays in the uploads. However, if you remember the first episode, I talked about how my disc was not um, pretty much, it was pretty much failing on me, which was really sad. And I got to work once miraculously, but then when I tried to do it again for another session, it just did not work. So, I got to, I had to buy a new digital download, so now we got, we're back, and we shouldn't have any more delays. Jesus, just staring off into space. Okay, I think Medley wanted us to come up in through this area, if I'm not correct. Um, no, not this way. I know where I need to go. I just, I think it's higher up. Or, oh, it's out through here, that's what it was. Okay, I know it had, like, a white, um, like a white sort of entrance, I believe? I believe this is the entrance that we're looking for. Yes, here we go. So, she wanted to meet us out here, if I'm correct? Um, down there, okay. Oh, it looks like she's right down there. I think I might have come in the wrong way, but you know what? Can I just, uh, I can get in, I, I can get in from a different direction. That's right, okay. I'm a fool. I think we come in from this bottom direction here, but which direction is it? Um, I think that's the main exit, so this is the direction I need to go. Here we go. My goodness, it only took, what, two times? Please be the right way. Here we go. <laughs> I was say, th uh, the third time's a charm, for sure. Alright, Medley, so what did you want me? What did you want me to come here for? Uh, hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to! I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. Uh, you see this place? This used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Yeah, I can. Well, not right now, but earlier. Oh, but where's my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Komali? Uh, well, you know. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Komali's taken. See, Prince Komali's grandmother was the Great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I, uh, I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave, and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Valu. I'm not yet, uh, I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. Jeez, that's some lack of confidence. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Komali would have felt more secure. Uh, Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that, uh, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Um, I think sure, why not? Phew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Oh boy. <laughs> Then face that ledge to toss me. Alright. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Okay, I will do that. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Yep, all this... <laughs> it's just so stupid. Oh, jeez. It's just so silly. Alright. <laughs> it just looks so silly. Okay. So we gotta get up on this little ledge here and wait for the direction of the wind. But I'm gonna hold off on it because I don't think it's gonna last very long. I could have done it if I positioned myself a little more correctly, so... No, just gotta wait a little longer. Oh, the winds are shifted, go! Does that work? That's right, okay. Whew. And you could you could tell by the just the airflow of the pebbles or the, the, mo the molecules, the particles, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, thank you! I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. Oh yeah, that'll come into play later. Um, I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but yeah, I could tell. Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Komali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Um, it's what I think it is? Just throw it on down to me? Yes, the empty bottle. If, this better not be glass, because I swear I had to catch it. If it hit the ground, it was broken. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Yes, they are. Bottles are notorious for being an amazing item in Zelda. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Also, that's why you need me to do it. Well, good luck to both of us. All right, Medley, good luck with whatever the heck you're doing. Going to talk to the Great Valu. Okay, so we got a cool little empty bottle now. And um, if I'm correct, what I want to do here is not that. Um, I want to press Y, snatch a little bit of this water here. Fill the bottle of water. Yeah, try pouring it on something that looks dry and withered. And if you notice, um, in the entrance that we came in here on, not the entrance that was up, but the entrance that was the one that I said that was the correct one, um, right over there, there was some wilted looking things. So if I can just, you know, go on right over here, press Y, release this water on these dried plants that looks very familiar, these little bombs. And let's see if we can just toss it on down there. Break that boulder, 
and back comes the geyser with a low frame rate. That's right. Oh, and it's all its all, and all its HD beautiful glory. <laughs> okay, so and now if you see those little uh see those little wooden planks that we can go up a climb in? Well, I guess we can now thanks to uh that um that little puzzle that we solved there. So Medley's a uh, little water bottle actually came in clutch. So now we've got to swim on across and I think we're heading to our first dungeon, which is really fun. I <laughs> I swear, I'm just like, it's so fun to be playing this game again after like four years, because I played it all the time and now, oh, it's just so good to be out. I did not mean to do that, holy moly. I could just <laughs> been really bad. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this is actually kind of hard. Did it go in? It did! Okay, I'm pretty good at that. Um, this part I'm always bad at because you have to hop across and then line yourself up with a certain amount of time. But apparently the older I've got, the more genius I've got. So there we go. Did it pretty easily. Just had to throw those bombs in those little things and that took, ca uh, that took care of that. I want to say there was like a rupee? I guess not. Maybe I was just mistaken, but you know what? Let's head in our first dungeon. Here we go. The Dragon Roost Cavern. Now... I'm going off completely of memory, but you know, I have beat this game 19, 20 times. Technically, you've caught the HD version. So, I don't think I'll have any trouble with this dungeon. So, hopefully, I won't have to make too many cuts or anything. Because I feel like whenever I make a cut, whenever I'm doing, like, a dungeon exploring sort of thing. Um, not that cuts are bad or anything. Um, but I feel like, um, people get lost. Like, I want people to be able to, um, have their own map. Their internal map, I guess, of this of a dungeon whenever I'm playing, so I don't know, maybe that's just me, because I like having an internal map whenever I play Zelda games, because it helps me keep track of things that I need to do. Okay, so let me see if I can... Spin attack! There we go, okay, watch out. Oh, hoo -hoo, that was completely accidental. It's been a couple days since I last recorded, so I just gotta remember how to actually play the game. Um, oh, there we go, there's a joy pendant, here we go. This is what I was talking about on episode two, I think. A joy pendant, or maybe it was the last episode, I can't remember. The joy pendants are so freaking good. We gotta make sure to collect as many of those as possible. So, um, if I remember correctly, I think I wanna pick this up and then light a torch or something. Yes, here we go. And I think this gives us our dungeon map to start off with. Oh shoot, I ran out of time, okay. Let me just grab another one, swoosh it right there, and there we go. Light two torches and a chest appears. That is just classic Zelda gameplay right there. And let's get rid of this thing, because we don't need it anymore, at least I don't think we do. And this should be our... Oh, a small key. Never mind. My bad. My bad. Again, it's not... My memory isn't complete with every single treasure chest in the entire dungeon. But you know what? I'd like to try and also just guess to see if I actually get it right. Because if I do, I impress myself. And then I might impress you because I definitely am not using a guide. Even though I have a pretty cool guidebook of this game. I have a guidebook and um, I used to buy guidebooks all the time for my Zelda games. And by all the time, I, all the time, I mean, I only have, I think, three? I have one for Wind Waker... And I guess the one I have with Wind Waker comes with Ocarina of Time, so I guess that's like a double. Um, so yeah, this is our this is the internal of the um, the cavern, which looks pretty cool. Um, and I think we just have to head on over here because there's a small key thing that we can't go over there with because we already used our small key. And um, but anyway, the three guidebooks that I have, I think, are just the Wind Waker um, and Skyward Sword, Four Swords, Adventures, and then Ocarina of Time, which is with the Wind Waker one. Which is all goo. Okay, so, oh, the timing, dude. I forgot that actually happened. That could have been really bad. I mean, that wasn't be that bad. Okay, so this is the bridge that I remember. What? I don't remember things falling from the ceiling. Okay. Um, are they gonna keep falling from the ceiling randomly? That's not epic. Um, I feel like this bridge collapsed. Nope, I'm wrong. Okay, I know that this bridge here, or maybe, no, okay, there is a bridge that I need to make collapse on purpose in this dungeon. Um, also, I love this ambience of this, uh, this dungeon. Okay, so here we go. Remember these water pots that look kind of, like, reddish now? Well, it's just tinted. So we got to throw this in the lava, and then, boom, make a little platform for us to cross, which is pretty cool. I always thought these, um, platforms kind of looked like, um, brownies when I was younger. I was, like, always make jokes about, oh, shoot, our very first choo-choo. What's going on, dude? I love choo-choos, dude. Choo-choos? Are like oh, again a very classic is all enemy. Oh, we got another choo choo gel. Or not another. I got a first red choo choo jelly. This gelatinous goo comes from uh, deep within a red choo choo. It is effective as a cure for exhaustion, but it can be or it can't be used in its current state. Yeah. So basically, what that means is um, we can turn red choo choo jellies into red potions. And what red potions do is it refills our health, which makes sense because red is like the color of your hearts. And then um, actually, I'll get into that later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, dude, what's going on? Boop, boop. And then let me go for a spin attack. 
Boom. Oh, okay, guess not. Now we have to pick up his own weapon, swing it. Oh, wait. There we go. I had to make sure there was a joy pendant. I knew. Gotta always watch out for those joy pendants. I think they disappear after a while, if I'm not correct. Could be wrong about that. So basically, we can't destroy these with our swords. We have to use the enemy's sword. My goodness. I still got it, dude. I still got it. Uh-uh. No, no, no. One shot. One shot. That's right. Yeah, all, I think all choo-choos only have, um, like, one HP. So I don't think there's anything to worry about with them. So let's grab another treasure chest. Maybe a small key in here, too? Yes, sirree. We got one. Okay, so let's hold this sword. I don't think we need it anymore. Um... Okay, yeah, I think I'm right about that. So let's get rid of it, because I know we can't... Oh, shoot, hold on. Choo-choos. What's going on, dudes? Give me your... Give me your, um... Mucus, gelatinous goo. I love the the goo. I already have, like, five of those. Wow. Um, I think you only need five to make a potion, which is pretty good. Okay, we got some bombs here. Um... Oh, here we go. So can I toss a rock on the bombs? I have the worst aim in the world. Let's try that again, because rocks are heavy. Boop! I suck. Okay, how about we just do, like, a spin attack or something? Come on. I know this is what I have to do. I have to hit the bomb. There we go. <sighs> did I get hit? I was trying to avoid getting hit. Okay, I did. Thank goodness. Whoop whoop! I love that sound. Ah, gotta love the- gotta love the Windmaker sound effects. They're also good. So now we're back here at the start. However, we can go outside, um, because of- we got that small key now, which is pretty epic. Um, I feel like I missed an area, um, in, like, another room, so I might have to go double check that later. But I don't think there's anything of importance that might have just been something... Just a little something. Okay, we just killed four of these things? Jeez. Give me these... Choo -choo -choo oh my gosh, I got one from each one? Is it really not as rare as I thought? My goodness. There you are. Oh, shoot. Okay, I didn't think you were actually gonna hit me. Jeez, dude. Okay, um... So yeah, it's different this time because, uh... We don't have that cool weapon, but if I'm correct... There should be a torch right in front of us. Yes. We can light this on fire. Then light this on fire. There we go. Gotta say... I'm quite the genius, said Wind Waker. Not because I have played this game a million times and a half. Look at these little butterflies. So cute. I want to pet them. <laughs> you know, you know, have you ever touched a butterfly wing? Um, I don't think it's really good to do so, but like when I was younger, I used to do a lot just because I was stupid. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hear those nah things. Okay. Um. Oh, hey, dude. What's going on? Mr. Guardian of the Bridge. Okay, actually, I have to be careful here because I can break this bridge and I do not want to do that, actually. Oh, shoot, hold on. Uh... Oh, oh, look at all that. Okay, I hear that freaking bird. I don't know where he is, though. Um, hold on, I gotta zoom out for this, because... Yes, the don't touch the black part of the ladder. I'm surprised this ladder is still intact. It's made out of wood, and yet somehow volcanic eruptions isn't, you know, burning it. Where right, there you are, you freaking bird. Okay, I actually want you to come and attack me while I'm on the land, preferably. There we go. Can't really see, there we go. Because I think you might drop a spoil, which I'd like. Yes, here we go. A feather. I forget what it's called. Golden feather. Okay. It is a certain... A certain strangeness emanates uh, from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these uh, with these treasures. Is that so? Well, Medley, I think I got a present for you. Um, but first, I'm going to have to sidle very carefully while I walk right next to a giant th bursting thing of lava. Look at that. That looks like the inside of a fruit. Kind of looks like a star fruit or something. Speaking of star fruit, what was I talking about earlier? I already forgot. Oh yeah, butterfly wings. Have you ever touched a butterfly wing and like the um, what is it called? Like it, it like it like rubs off on you. Like if you let's say you like touch like a monarch butterfly. I don't really know what colors those are. Let's just it, you get like the color of a monarch butterfly on your finger. Or, like if you touch a blue butterfly, have you ever had like some of its like scale? I don't know what to call it. Um, have you ever had just like part of like rub off on you? I guess if that's if that's a thing. Or like a yellow butterfly and you touch it and then you're, you get like yellow smears on your finger. It's really weird how butterfly wings are like that. It's almost like like chalk or paint or something. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, so this should be... Um, pull this one out and then push it over, I believe? Uh, no? Uh, oh yes, I'm right. Okay, I'm so good. I'm so freaking good. I still got it. Still freaking got it. It's all just, it's all just locked away in some corner of my mind, I swear. All the Wind Waker, not, none of this, none of like, why, what's the A? Oh, is it? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Link, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you, spare, if you spread bright, uh, bait near their nest, they may share their story of treasure with you. Or their story of treasure with you. Why don't you try it? Uh, well... You know, it's a little too late. Well, you know, let me let me see if I can give it a try. I do have a little bit of bait, so let's just uh, 
Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Give me some spoils, dude. Look, look at him. Eat that bait. Thanks, rat. Dude, I just... Hey, I got something real good. I'll show for you. Real good. Or for real. What I'll pay for you. Um... What? You mean you're gonna sell me bait for bait? I mean, okay. Okay, sure. Wait. I thought I had... I thought my wallet only went up to 200. That's interesting. Um, maybe it goes up to 300? Or maybe it's... Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Twilight Princess. I always forget if it's Twilight Princess who has 200 versus 300. It might be Twilight Princess has 200 and Wind Waker has 300. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, so this has to be a small key, right? Uh, or no, this is like a dungeon map. So then... Did I miss something? I could have missed a small key. Um, or no, it's a compass. Okay, I don't even have a map yet. That's strange. Oh, I see. Up through there. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I know what I'm doing. Don't think I'm a fool. Not yet. I haven't stuttered yet, so let's just... <laughs> there we go. See? I'm telling you, dude. Zelda Master... I mean, it's the first dungeon, so, you know. It's not like it's anything super difficult. Once we get into, like, some of the later dungeons, it's gonna be a little, uh... A little... I don't know. It's gonna take me a while to remember things. I know... I think I know the second um, dungeon pretty well. The third dungeon... Pretty rough, actually. That one's actually pretty rough. Um, to remember off the top of my head. Dungeon number four... Um, I don't know. I think dungeon number four is okay. I guess, well... And then dungeon five and six are a little bit weird. Um, hey, dude. Don't just... Uh, attack! Freaking thing! What the... Oh... I literally forgot about that. Okay. Come after me, dude. Alright? Alright? Come on, come after me. Coward? Freaking coward? Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, 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 what? Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no! No! The feather! <laughs> Did you see it fall? Oh, that's sad. Alright. Well, that's all we could do. Unfortunately, I tried to keep him above, but he was a freaking coward. Cowards will be cowards, you know? I, I like like I'm one to talk. I'm a freaking coward. <laughs> if I ever have to fight anything, I just die immediately. I did not mean to do that, but sure, fine. Okay, bats, please, keys. Can I please just? Yeah, come on. <laughs> so bad, dude. Just freaking hit it. I'm targeting it with L. Just hit, hit, hit. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, freaking bat. Come here. Come. <gasps> There we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, they're camping me in the air, I swear. Oh, come on. Right when it ended. You freaking bats, I swear. All you do is just camp me in the air. It's fine. It's fine. They're just bats. Don't yell. Don't scream. They're just a little bit of bat. Okay, I can't see. <laughs> I need to grab this treasure before I do anything else. And it's a joy pendant. Cool. Is that my third one now? If I get, I have to, I remember, I have to remember, I have to keep track of my joy pendants because I need like 20 of them for um for a side mission. I think I will be doing like most of the side missions in this game. I don't know if I'll be doing like um the non like story related ones. I don't know. Cuz like there's just so much in this game and a lot of it is just like I guess a little boring, but I guess I could do like one super long episode. Um what the Oh. Oh yeah, that's right, that thing. Oh, what did I miss? What the heck? Um, but anyway, I, was saying, I, I could do, like, a super long episode where I cover, like, all of, like, the extra content. That way it doesn't get super boring. But anyway, um, this pot, well, pretty much is, like, a warp pot. If you remember the pot back at the very beginning of the, um... Oh, is this what the one I need to cut? I think it might... No, not yet. Um, but if you remember the, uh, pot at the beginning of the dungeon, that will warp us and take us right back there, which is pretty cool. Um, does this have... Okay, not yet. <gasps> that pivot was so spooky. Oh! Mini boss? Mini boss? No? Okay, never mind. Uh, oh, I know what this room is. Okay, we actually have to be careful with this room because um, these little freaking Bacoblin dudes will pop out of pots if I'm not correct? Yes? I feel like they do. Um, may oh, maybe it's over here. Pop out. Scare me. Come on, I know you're in there. Seriously? No, I know, oh, I know, one's in here for sure. Yep, there we go. <laughs> He's hiding in there. You freaking, you don't think I see you? Come on, dude. Pathetic. Okay, maybe if I do like a little jump slash and break these pots. Seriously? Are they just hiding in here? There you are. What the heck? Why didn't you jump out at me? That was a weird combo. Okay, fall off and then in into the B or into the, the jump slash. I love doing jump slash, by the way. Was that it? Really? I thought there was more. I genuinely thought there was more. No, I guess that was it. Wow. 
Okay, hold on. Let me borrow this little stick in jig so that I can um, light this up and then I think get uh, not a small key. I want to say this is only going to give me a um, just like a rupee or something. Well, then again, no, it could be the map. Oh, get rid of that freaking thing. I don't need that. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the map. Um, because we just got the compass earlier. Or did we get the map already? Hold on. No, I'm pretty sure we only got the, uh... Oh, yeah, there it is. Or, it's the treasure chart. My bad. Okay, so yeah, treasure chart. And did we already get the map? I guess we did. I'm just a stupid idiot. My gosh. I need to be... I need to shut up. I need to shut up right now. I need to stop playing Wind Waker forever. Never touch it again. Never touching this game again, I swear. Okay, um, so we should... Can I roll and break this one, too? Whoa, what the... Oh! <gasps> Joy pendant, I'm so good. Joy pendants give me joy. Um, okay, there's nothing else. I feel like there's more in this room. I remember there being more in that room. Okay, my bad. Um, let's pick up this jug and the. Oh shoot, these guys. I really don't like these guys. Those freaking this little caterpillar worm. So basically, how you defeat them is um doing exactly what I've just done there. So, well, I guess not really necessarily just that. Um, there's another method to the madness as well, and it is, um, you can either throw a jug of water on the caterpillar guy, or you can, um, wait for it to strike and then slash its eye. However, there's, like, a point in this game where you have to go up against, like, two of them at once, and it's really frustrating because they both get in your way, and if they fall in the lava, then you can't strike at them, so it's kind of frustrating when that happens. Okay, there we go. Yep, I know exactly what I'm oh, doing. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm turning the camera too fast. Okay, this is... Oh, okay, so yeah. There's a little cal caterpillar boy over there. I don't really know what to call it. Centipede, I guess is more correct. Centipede boy. Um, let's grab this freaking uh, bomb, blow that up. There we go, and there's another pot. So now we can warp back between two different... Pl well, no. I guess the pot warps you somewhere else because the, the fumes match where you're going to warp um, with the pot. So this should break that one. There we go. And now we can head on through here, which I believe should be our mini boss coming up here soon. Yes, I am correct. Look at the look at the HD value. Oh, man's eating some hot chili. I can feel that. Um, all right, let's get on up there because the poor guy seems like he needs a little bit of help or something. Cause an earthquake. Jeez, calm down. Calm down. I will get your mild. I'll get your milk soon so you can mild off the taste and medley. What the heck, dude? You said you'd be fine! Oh, here we go. Here's our mini boss. That'll love this music again. Hopefully we can listen to it for a little bit longer, but you know what? I'm just such a pro that it might just not happen. Hold on. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on, dude. Fight! Hit me, hit me, hit me, come on! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Fine, fine, fine. I'll hit you. <laughs> See, I like how I went right at him. Hold on, I'm gonna finish him off with his own weapon. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, let me finish off your own freaking weapon. Come on! Is that it? No, that's not it. I think there's more. I swear there's more. Yes, yes, this is, here we go, the Moblin. Remember this guy from the Forsaken Fortress? Well, he's back. Look at Valu up there, oh my gosh. Just get away from me, Jesus. Did you see how, hold up. <laughs> Whoa, I forgot his punches are so strong. No, give me that freaking weapon, no. That's right, get out of here. There we go, gotta love this music. Okay, is there more? No, okay, I swear there was a second set, that's fine. Okay, so you notice this thing, right? If you break it, it turns into a whole bunch of treasures and a joy pen. So let me grab that joy pen really quickly before it disappears. Sorry, Medley. I know, I'm coming in just a sec. I just gotta get the spoils. Everyone loves the spoils. So there is our little mini boss, Medley. How'd you get captured? Link, you came to rescue me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the Great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. Is that so? Really? I thought it was because he ate hot chili, huh? The Great Valu's tail hangs down into the room right below here. There's got to be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've got to do something now, before it's too late. Um, I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. Uh, they're gonna find out about our secret, whatever. Here, Link, use this to get out of here. Oh, it's what I used to get this far. It's a device we Rito used before we evolved wings. Really? I didn't know about that. Okay, at least I forgot about it. Let me just show up right there. The grappling hook, our very first item. I actually love this item. It has, it's a very handy item, actually. Um, you can even use it to haul things uh, up from the seafloor while you're on your boat. Yep, it works as our treasure finder. Here, Link, climb up onto that little ledge over there so I can show you something. Okay. What, you can just fly like normal? Okay, so I guess I didn't even need to throw you. That's fine. All right, let me equip my... Um, very new epic item 
Is there anything in here? No, there's not. And we shall um, do whatever the heck Medley wants us to do. I'm leaving those pots behind because I don't think they have anything in there. Uh, grab this branch with the grappling hook. You can swing over there to get out of this area. When you aim at the... Yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, okay, don't you worry about me, Link. All right, I can do this. So it's motion controls. That's fine. Swoosh. Whoop -oh. And then jump it to do. There we go. It's just like how we practice with old Nico, our friend. Speaking of which, um, when it comes to the second um, Nico, or I guess, I don't know, I shouldn't say that. That's a little spoiler, but you know, I just revealed it, so whatever. If we see, how about this? If we see Nico again, I have some more um, old flip notes to show you all. Some really hilarious, funny ones. There we go. Now we're out. So now we can go down over this way. Except I gotta be a little bit careful how I swing. Here we go. Because you can actually angle your swing depending on um, which way you throw your grappling hook, which is kind of cool. But for the most part, you'll just gotta, if you just go straight, you'll be fine. Um, did I actually latch on to it? Okay, sometimes you won't even latch on. It's kind of funny. Um, you're like, if you latch on the very edge of something, it won't even do it, which is, I just think is a little bit funny. Um, so, where are we heading into next? Um, here we go. Uh, did, don't. Get back up. Come on, thank you. I was like, you are not about to fall off right now, dude. Boom, there we go. And, jeez, oh, I wasn't expecting you, jeez. Okay, hold on. I don't want to make you fall in the lava because in case you drop a joy pendant, I'm going to want to um grab that. Can you... You freaking dude. Come on. There we go. Okay, so this gives us our treasure. I don't think that's... um. I'm pretty sure that's just like a... An extra. So I want a new. A, this is the one I want to cut. We got to make sure we cut this one because going down here is actually good for us. If you notice, that's where the treasure chest disappeared. So this should break right there. Don't fall. Careful. Okay. So we don't need to. Uh, we can ignore that fire pillar right over to the right of us because there we go. Another joy pendant. Is that our fourth one now? That's pretty good. Only 16 more to go. Um, and I know where one is hidden on that island too. I actually probably should, I probably should have got it while I was there, but that's fine. And if we want to go back up, we can just use that fire pillar, drop one of these water buckets on there, and then we'll be all good to go. I think we're actually getting pretty close to the end of this dungeon. So let me um, snatch on over here, go for our good old trusty spin attack. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see his face there? Oh my gosh, I forgot about his face. The freaking thing got in my way. Come on. I swear the fire pillar messed me up at the perfect time. All right, let's let's uh, let's see if we can time it a little bit faster this way or that way. We could just, come on. I messed up again. My spacing on that is really bad for some reason. My goodness. All right, this is like dead center. Come on. There we go. Whew. I was getting kind of scared there. Okay, so I, all right, let's just wait it out. That's fine. I can wait it out. I'm Link. Let me just let me just chill. You know. Oh, <laughs> just oh. Okay. I, I was I, I thought there was only one way to go. That's why I was like, what? Okay. So this is definitely the area where things get a little bit tricky because I think we're gonna have to do some grapple hook shenanigans here soon, which is pretty cool. I gotta love those grapple hook shenanigans. Gotta love those uh, dungeon gimmicks that are in every single freaking Zelda game. Okay, so if I remember correctly, oh, you know, this is this leads us back to the area that we've already been to. So I don't think we need to even go this way, or maybe I do. Oh, you're right, I do. You're right. Yeah, uh, me being right to my own freaking. Oh, now I know. Okay, I know what I need to do. I just need to hang on it. That's right. Um, there we go. That's right. Okay, I know what I need to do. I'm good. I was like, why do I need to come over here? But I got you now. No, the freaking. Okay, this is why I hate this part because the bats. Okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, there we go. I, gamb I went for the gamble. Just wanted to let go immediately. Here we go. This is where things get a little bit interesting. Because um, we actually have to like reposition ourselves, I believe. Um, what's actually interesting about this room is in the original, um, if you remember the tingle tuner thing I told you about, um, which is like... Hold on, I gotta like lower myself. Um, which is like where you can play as tingle. Like a second person, if they have a, a GBA link cable, they can plug it into the GameCube and play as tingle. Not like right next to you, but like... It's like, it's like a very weird thing. I have to explain it. I'll probably explain it while we're like doing some extra stuff. Not in a dungeon video, but like it's really interesting. Basically, you collect statues in each dungeon, and there's a statue right over there um, where that little spot was. That's why it looks useless to be over there. However, that spot is where a Tingle um, statue was, but it's not in the HD remake, which is unfortunate. I really wish they would have included that in some way, but you know what? It's fine. They decided to do useless Miiverse functions, even though Miiverse shut down after, like, what? four years of it being i don't even know how long okay this is the room that i hate because we actually have to um grab this guy come here hit him come on there we go oh i have to do it again hit him okay now we have to grab him and put him down on this pedestal here so that we can get this big chest so drop it i freaking i said drop come on please 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 okay drop 
probably gonna mistime it. If I can just get it quickly, quickly, quickly. Here we go. And if, if any of you are big Zelda fans, you know exactly what this key means, but I won't say it because it's gonna happen right frickin' now. The big key. Use it to gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. There we go. I'm pretty sure that was obvious, but you know, just in case, I'm going to ignore that freaking guy. Um, I think there's a second one here, I want to say. I could be wrong about that. Maybe that's just my own mistake. Okay. So now we just have to go back and retreat. There is a freaking fire keys here now, but I don't care. He is perished under my blade. That's all cool. But basically, where we are heading to next is a room that we've already actually been to. Um, and you'll probably recognize the room if you remember us being in it and we're like, why the heck is there like a spot over there? We can't even get over there. Or why did you just pass by it? And there's a reason for that. And it's because we needed the gimmick item to get there. The good old grapple hook, which is, I don't know if it's my favorite. Mm, that's hard to say. There's so many good items in Wind Waker. Okay, that's a little too high. Um, but like, I don't know what my favorite item in Wind Waker is. There's so many good ones. Um, this one's probably top three. Well, I don't know. I don't know. There, there's a lot of good ones. It's really hard to pick. Okay, I might be short. <gasps> no, we're good. We're good. I feel like they, like, buffed that in the HD remake. I remember, like, always missing up my time clock. Get away from me. Jeez, get away. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, so I need to check out my map real quick. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna go. <gasps> I made it. Whoa, 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 whoa. The timing. The timing. Oh, my God. Okay, let's wait for our big old boy to come down. So I think this will send us straight up to the third floor, which is what we're looking for. And then uh, from there, we can go um, to where we need to go. So there is second floor. Where am I going? Please don't miss. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. So, yeah. Now, okay, here's where it has to happen. Okay, I see. But you got to get these freaking fire keys out of the way. Can I throw my grapple hook at them? No, I cannot. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Perish. Perish under my blade. There we go. Oh, okay, so we grab these things, as I mentioned earlier, and then we can go give it a toss on that fire pillar and then work our way back up. Look, there's water spurting out of it. Don't spill all the water. Okay, that might be off, but we'll still try. Nope, it looks like we're good. Cool. Let's fly on up. Come on. Up we go. There we go. And then I just need to go back outside, and then we're on our way to where we need to go, which is going to be pretty, pretty cool. But you know what? Um, no, nah, hold on, hold on. Let's just hold on a second. We can hear the Great Valu in pain right now. I feel so bad. The poor guy, he's been suffering for what? However long he's been suffering. However long this creature has been tormenting his poor tail. Or whatever is going on. I mean, I know exactly what's going on, but... Oh, what? See, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes it doesn't work, but I think that's because I moved. I accidentally pressed forward um, a little prematurely, but that's fine. Let's get in here. Here we go. Here's the room that I was talking about. Um... The room that we were just in that we came out of and if you remember seeing this thing now you know what it does because we can just do a little old grapple hook action and swing on over that's right and then we can also ignore this caterpillar if i can now i want to beat it up please hey hey dude what's good notice me notice me yo am i just chopped liver to you come on bruh freaking you want some bait here take it you freaking worm! Fine. Oh, but now you notice me. The second I was about to not notice you. She's the second, I swear. He's just playing hard to get. All right, dude, come on. Come on, get out of your shell or else I'll beat you out of there. You wanna play Monopoly? I know you don't because it's like a five million hour game. And I swear I'm really garbage at Monopoly too. Unless it's the Pokemon Monopoly. I really like that one. Because you get to like collect great balls and stuff and Pokeballs and Ultra Balls and Master Balls, Yellow Rupee, there we go. Not too shabby at all. This one is... Also a yellow ruby or... Oh, a knight's crest. There we go. Okay, we got to make sure we collect a lot of these as well. We need 10 of them for a side quest, which is going to be um, an actual really good one. And on the joy pendant, that's five. We're doing really good collecting these. Um, I got to be careful because I'm pretty sure, um, if I remember correctly, one of these has a fairy in it. So I want to see if I can grab that. I want to say it's this one. Come on. Please don't miss. No, I'm freaking... Ugh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at catching them. Is there another one? There is, okay. Careful, careful, careful. Come on, there we go. Yes. Enslavement. <laughs> you caught a fairy in your bottle. When your life energy runs out and you collapse from exhaustion, this fairy will apprentice your strength. And look at that poor fairy. It's so sad. Ah, oh, the poor freaking fairy. Okay. Well, I'd say that was a pretty good episode. We made it through an entire dungeon, but you know what? The boss is right beyond this door, and what a door it is. But you know what? I think I'm going to leave it here, and we'll save the boss for the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next episode. 
Ah, I still got it. I still know my Wind Waker so well. Okay, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.